What's up guys? Desert B here and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As you can see, we've got the Master Cycle Zero. We obtained that last episode, so if you missed that, you should definitely go check it out. Because that fight with Maz Kosha is definitely worth the view. It's such- I mean, that's the best boss fight in the game, hands down, for sure. And it's such a cool sequence, too, because you get to do, like, an, another Divine Beast, and then you, when the monk wakes up, it's just so cool. I love it so much. So, today's episode, now that we're done with the Champion's Ballad DLC, and we've got ourselves a dirt bike to mob around Hyrule on, we're going to finish up doing the memories and uh, some of the side quests and stuff so that we can go and take on Calamity Ganon. It got really dark and rainy all of a sudden. There's a radish here I want to pick up. So our next memory, just so I can show you where we are with our memories, we're looking for this. So I actually just crossed the Hylian Bridge, so I should probably go back, actually. Now that I think about it. And then, from there, I think there's a couple of DLC chests we should do, and then we should go and check out the Spring of Courage, which is nearby as well, and do that little shrine quest. And I think that there's a Zora that we can help out over here in the lake, too. And let's see. So here's the bridge. Oh, it's Farage! Should we get a scale from Farage while we're here? Even though it's raining, it's horrible weather. Oh, the Yiga clan is after me again. Maybe they won't come up here. What was that noise? That was weird. Okay. Let's get a scale. I think I only have one, which is all I need to do the quest, but might as well, right? Or, or we could get a horn or a claw. Actually, to upgrade the champion's tunic, what do I need from him? Is it a scale or a horn? I don't remember. Or maybe it's one of each. Oh, wow. Look at the sunset. Here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Am I shockproof? Yes. Hold on. Wait. I don't want to get shocked while trying to do this. Let's go for a horn, maybe. Sorry, Barrage. Oh, it landed on the bridge. Nice. Now that's convenient. And it's a horn! Gosh, leave me alone, please! Well, that sucks, because all the rupees he had just went over the cliff, but... Whatever. So... Let's change back into this armor. I am incredibly low on weapons right now, and I just, like... I don't really remember... A good spot to farm weapons, except for the castle, obviously. But uh, we might we might go there soon, I guess. <laughs> Look at the Lizalfos over there. A silver scale spear with a long throw. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'll take these spears. A fishing harpoon. Wow. These guys are green. And you. Goodbye. Oh yeah, so the Zora. I hope that I hope that the quest will be here since I don't know that I actually talked to her her family in Zora's domain, but I know there's a Zora over here. And there's a shrine. Oh, look! There's the Zora! That was easy. Good evening. Today's weather's unfortunate, isn't it? What are you 
doing out here? I'm catching fish they sell in no time flat at the general store in Zora's Domain. Ah. We're pretty far from Zora's Domain right now, but there are a lot of fi rare fish to catch here, so it's a lot of fun. Oh, no. So, because I haven't talked to her family, she... I can't do the quest. Darn it. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I got that travel medallion, so we're gonna do a little fast traveling here. I'm gonna put this travel medallion here. I'm gonna go to Zora's domain, speak to her family, and then we'll come back and speak to her so that we can wipe this quest out. All right, and we're back. Now she's got the red thing above her head, meaning she's part of a side quest. And that's just like one example of why this travel medallion is so useful. So let's get her to go back home to her family. Do you know Franck? Yeah, Franck is her husband's name. Yeah, he's my darling, my love. Why, is something wrong? What? My darling, I'm sorry. I completely forgot I got carried away. I gotta get back home right now. Here, you can have these. Oh, nice. Ah. Okay, now they're all yours. Now then, time for me to go home to Zora's Domain. See ya. Yeah, go home to your family. They're worried sick. She's got a husband and a kid there just waiting for her to come back. And then there's a shrine right on the other side of this rock. Yeah. Oh, Farage is back. What do I do? I almost feel inclined to try to get another scale or where did he, oh, his music is fading. Hold on. Farage. Oh, he's right there. Do you think? Do you think with the ancient bow we could do it? I mean, it would only be a scale or something. Wow, that was a miss. Another miss! Not aiming. Well, that was too high. Ah! I'm gonna run out of body. Wait, is that gonna hit? Yes! Oh, and it went... Well, that's not too far. Alright, you gotta go, my friend. How shall we... make our way over there? I guess we'll use the old ice block trick. The swimming is for losers. I just wish it wasn't raining. And look, there's a thunderstorm on the way too. The weather in this area is horrible. Is that a, is this a thing? This is suspicious. I guess not. I thought it was gonna be an octa rock. Okay, this is a little further than I was thinking it was. Man. Oh. But this is good. We need these to upgrade our armor. I'm pretty sure. We need something from Farash anyways. We got a scale. Okay. Perfect. Probably worth it in the long run. Okay, let's get the shrine done, and then we'll go and hunt for the memory. No! Should have used the raft. Although, I guess you need to have a Korok leaf for the raft, so... Maybe not. I feel like during my playthrough of this game, I'm, I, I feel like I've probably mentioned along some point in the game, oh, this is a pretty good spot to get pretty decent weapons and 
like, thinking to myself, I'll make a mental note of that. Except I don't remember where that was. I know the castle is a, probably the best place to get weapons, but, like, I can't just run off to the castle right now. What are we doing here? Ooh, we're gonna need a bomb on top of the block. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's stand back, though, because I need a view of what's gonna happen. <laughs> nice. Okay, so then I need to get up there. So now we're gonna launch me up there. <laughs> nice. Now... Oh, there's a chest. I looked the wrong way. Okay, let's just do it one more time. I am I mean, hey, maybe there's a weapon in there I want. Like a soldier's broadsword, please? Royal guard sword? Like anything one-handed, I'll take it. Which way? Was it out to the left? Nope, out to the right. Oh, come on. Okay, out to the right, out to the right. One more time. One-headed weapon, please. Eightfold, that's a one-handed weapon, right? Yes, nice. <laughs> That was perfect. Okay, let's go and locate that memory. At least it's a clear day for... For a while, anyways. There's still a thunderstorm coming, but... That's okay. So... We're on the wrong side of the bridge. Because you can see the Gerudo Highlands in the background. Which are over here. Okay, let's go... Hmm. I have an idea. Let's see if we can get a Korok Leaf drop from this. I know, I'm going to use one of my... Very, very few weapons on this tree. But it's... Oh, and then we didn't even get what we wanted. What about this chest? That's not a real chest! How do you get it to... to show itself? Why did that scare me so bad? <laughs> like, I knew it was going to happen. That's what I wanted to happen, and it still scared me. Okay. What the heck? Look at the little pebblets. It's just, like, chilling. Stone pebblet. Well, foot. I was going to... I was going to... I was hoping for a Korok leaf so I could use the raft. Why... Why put the raft here if you're not going to give me a Korok leaf? I don't know. There's only one thing to do. I guess let's take this guy's weapons and then we ice block our way back over to land. Look at the fish! And it's a hearty salmon. Hearty bass. Here's another chest. Do you think it's real? Oh gosh. Incoming rock. Whoops. Oh, this one's real. No, 
no, no, no, no. Shoot. Oh. Purple rupee. Okay, fine. Check it out. I've got 15,000 rupees right now. Although, 10,000 of those are going to go to the next fairy that we come across. So, it feels like I have a lot and like I'm really stocked up, but I don't get to keep them. That tree looks like the one in the memory, but I don't think that's right. That's like right at the foot of the bridge. Oh, here comes that storm. Oh, gosh. We're in the middle of a lake. During a lightning storm. Come on, Link. We gotta get out. Of the water. Oh, yeah. Let's unequip everything. Okay. We're probably close enough to swim. There's another raft. And then again, no Korok leaf in sight. Let's do one of these. There's a, yeah, there's a big enemy base right there. So let's avoid Although, what kind of weapons do you think they have? Hold on. Let's just take a, a little glance. We can probably... Silver Bokoblin. Yawning or doing something. Regular Bokoblin. I don't see them holding... That guy's just got a stick. Wait, wait, wait. What kind of sword does he have? Oh, he's got a royal guard sword. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. They're all electrified. Shoot. Should probably take out the lookout. Oh, the, the ancient bow isn't... Metal? Interesting. Just what I think should happen. Oh, somebody's about to get zapped. Hold on. <laughs> okay, what I think we ought to do here is Urbosa's Fury. Get rid of this guy. Oh, gosh. Darn it. I just need to find the guy that has the... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I just thought of a royal shield. What shields do I have? I'm pretty happy. Well, here we go. Let's do that. There it is. The lightning got him for me. Oh, it's a royal broadsword. I don't know what I called it, but close enough. Ow. He doesn't have a metal weapon. He doesn't even have... He doesn't have anything I want. Ice arrows. Okay, so we got what we came for. And some arrows. Let's go. Oh, check it out. Could that be... What side of the river is that tree on? That might be where I'm going. Because the memory's got... Let's check it out again. Yeah, look at The memory's right next to this tree. And like a rock with two statues. I can't see the little cave with the statues, but I think that's it. Let's cross the river.
Oh good, the storm's clearing up. Although, it's gonna be sunny for like a minute and then it's gonna rain again. There we go. Let's get the bike out. Watch out, birds! Whoa! Okay. Nice. Okay, here's our memory. Uh, first of all, though, let's go... Is this a Korok puzzle? Examine. Of course it is. Let's, um, I don't know. I just don't, I guess this outfit's fine, but I like to, I want to be in like my normal clothes. Just because I like these little cutscenes to look like kind of normal. Not, not like the one in the last episode where we're standing there talking to Cass and I'm wearing the Thunder Helm. I was so mad about that. Try to remember, Link. Oh, look, it's raining here, too. I doubt this will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... one day... you realized... That you just weren't meant to be a fighter. Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Zelda comp contemplating life in the rain <laughs> and link is just like so oh hey guys you're still here link is just so silent about it too just looking at her like i don't know i mean he's definitely has thoughts like would he have chosen a different path it's what he grew up doing I don't know, that's an interesting thing to think about, you know? You... In, in a lot of cases, you know... Oh, another Korok puzzle. And an Iron Shroom. I guess in a lot of cases, it's easy... to follow in your parents' footsteps. But it's definitely not, you know, it's not as common as it used to be, I guess, is what I'm just thinking. Let's see. So we've got a couple of DLC chests I want to pick up while we're in this vicinity. And we need to go do the um, shrine quest for the serpent's jaw. So let's track that. And Usurper King? Yeah, so we can get this one. It's in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees south of the Dueling Peaks. So let's check the map. South of the Dueling Peaks. I'm here. Here's a swamp. So this this is it because you can see the the trees are all leafless, whereas these trees have leaves on them. So let's put a pin. And then here's the uh, the thing I'm looking for. This is where we met Cass, I think. Cass told us he gave us that quest. 
One thing that we're going to do for sure is uh, if you've never... So Cass, right? He's a traveling bard and you... If you finish all of his quests, he actually goes home to be with his family. And there's a bit of dialogue. I really don't remember what exactly he says, but I do remember there being a little bit of dialogue that you can get for um, going back and meeting him. And he specifically tells you, like, I think if you go there during the day and speak with him when he's with his family, I think he'll tell you to meet him later in the day or after dark or something like that. And he has something to say. I don't remember what it is exactly. But I do remember thinking, like, oh, that was, a, like, a really nice, um, like, closure, I guess, to all of Cass's little quests. So it's worth doing. We're going to do it in this playthrough. And I think if you haven't done it yourself, you should definitely do that. But you just have to do... You gotta do all of his shrine quests, and you gotta do... Uh, there's two Koroks here. Wow. All of his shrine quests, and there's a couple of little, like, side quests, I guess, that he has for you that you have to finish. And then he'll go home. I want to get these frogs. And I want to get the... That wasn't a frog. And I want to get the Korok, wherever it went. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to the forest very, very soon. So, I guess it's time to start stocking up on as many Korok seeds as we pass by. Within reason. What was the color of the pin I put down? I think it was blue, yeah? Wait a minute. Yeah, blue. Good. Oh gosh. Another lightning storm. So let's see. Is this a valley of dead trees? Oh wait, this is the this is the shrine thingy. Well, since I'm here, should we do it? Oh, you know what? There's a bunch of enemies here. I forgot about that. I'm just trying to think, what's the best way to approach this? Because there are a lot of Lizalfos. So there's one. And there's a bunch of enemies, like, under. Inside of this dragon mouth. Let's go over here. I'd rather not alert them all, you know? See if we can take them out. Oh, I didn't get the. Oh. Rip me, man. Well, they don't seem to be in attack mode. Maybe they. Maybe they didn't get the full alert. And then there's about just as many on the other. Oh, gosh. As many on the other side as there are on this side. Okay. Okay, there's one over there, one over there, and then there's enemies down there. So let's... Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, well that's okay. There's at least not as many now. And they still... Okay, now they're attacking. I didn't get the headshot. Darn it. There's a lot of loot in this area that I want, too. We can grab all of these. And these guys are all dropping, like, shock arrows and stuff. And then we've got, yeah, Moblin up in that area. I should have probably gotten the loot from these guys when I was up here. I mostly just want the arrows. 
if they dropped any. Which these guys didn't. What about these two? No arrows? Well, I saw some on this side over here. Yeah, these, these are all Zonai ruins, guys. And now we know from the latest gameplay trailer that Zonai are at least going to be somehow incorporated into the story of Tears of the Kingdom. That's exciting. The, the Zonai thing was like, it came out on, you know, from like the, all the YouTube theorist guys on on YouTube, and uh, it was all, like, really interesting. Where did the loot go? Did it... Did I lose it? Oh, well. Anyways, it was all, like, super interesting at first, and then it was, like, everybody was talking about it, and it... We just didn't know, so it, it just seemed like... Ooh, look at these guys. Look at how, like, how well uh, camouflaged they are. Oh, come on. What? What is he, a silver? No, he's not. I'd rather not chase him around. Like, just come on. I keep missing the... Gosh. I hate fighting Los Alfos. Like, hate it. Come on. Got him. Anyways, the zone I think it was just like it was all very interesting, but it was also like we didn't know anything more about him than just this tiny little tidbit that was in this game. And so it was kind of just like really over talked about for a while. And now it's hilarious because it's actually, like, somehow going to be incorporated into Tears of the Kingdom. So it's kind of like, nice job, Zelda theorists, for picking up on that and talking about it. And now it's like they're all, you know, redeemed in a sense, I guess. Darn it. Eh. I'm feeling a little bit better about my weapon situation than I was at the beginning of this episode. Oh, nice. Okay, Spring of Courage. And check it out, you guys, because this, this entryway and the... Um, these, what do you call these, these pillars right here, like, this exact spring exists in Skyward Sword. Like, I mean, it looks just like it. That's so cool. So let's drop her scale on her little pedestal. She wants Farash. Okay, well, I missed the platform, but that's fine, I guess. She's happy. I'm happy. Your path has shown itself. Now go forth. The serpent's jaw complete. Pretty sure this is gonna be a blessing shrine. Also, is there anything in this cave? Sometimes there's like treasure or loot. Nope. Lame. But it's a blessing shrine.
A thunder spear. All right, that's fine. At this point, I guess I can't be picky. Oh, right. Now, there is a DLC chest that you don't want to miss if you're collecting your DLC chest right here within the spring. Gosh, my nose is so itchy today. Um, let's see. Let's... I... I think I remember where it is, but let's check it out. It's uh, in the side quest. Merchant garb mask. Is it merchant? Yeah, here we go. In the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage at Dracozo Lake. So the right hand of this dragon, here's his mouth, is going to be that claw right there. In the right hand of the dragon. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, it's hidden. Wow, that's well hidden. Nice. Rabio's hood, the hood of a traveling merchant who had a bracelet that could turn the wear into a painting. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. It's a rather rare find. That's so random, your sideways climbing speed? Okay. Now let's go and locate those other chests that I want to grab. I think it's the... Oh, we we didn't do this one? I thought I just did... Oh, we were on the way and then I got sidetracked. That's what it was. So that's right over here. Yeah, I'm really... We still don't know, like, what... How much of a role or anything that the Zonai are going to play in the next game. But it's just really neat to see... <laughs> That at least the name popped up on screen. And it's like material that he picked up too when he was doing the gameplay showcase. So uh, there's got to be something, something more to them than there was in this game. I've been planning it out and what, so I hope you guys are excited for Tears of the Kingdom as excited as I am. Uh, I'm planning to run this game. We're going to finish it on the Wednesday before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. That's my plan. And then uh, the game drops. So usually when, you know, when the games drop, it's uh, at like mid time, midnight Eastern time. The night, like, how would, how would you say this? So right at midnight on May 12th is when it's gonna drop Eastern time. However, I am currently on Pacific Standard Time, so it's going to drop for me at 9 o'clock my time. So I took all... Uh, that's going to be on Thursday night for me at 9 p.m. on Thursday night. So I took... Uh, okay, that's uncalled for. So was that. So was that. So I took, um, I took Friday off work and I took the following Monday off work so that I can play Tears of the Kingdom for like four days straight. I'm just gonna like turn my phone off, not answer any phone calls, no text messages. I'm just playing Tears of the Kingdom for four days straight. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh gosh, don't do that. It's been so long since we've had a new Zelda game and I just can't wait. I remember like when Breath of the Wild came out, I I wasn't following gaming news and stuff as closely. So when Breath of the Wild came out, I, I think I didn't even I mean, I think I was, like, mildly aware that a new Zelda game was coming out. Oh, shoot. Ah! But I wasn't, like, anticipating it like this game so much. And then 
it came out. And I think I did play it like the weekend it came out. I remember specifically buying it and playing it the weekend that it came out. Uh, I don't think it was the day that it came out, but because of work and stuff. What the heck? There's a guardian up here? Oh, by the way, I lost my guardian shield. I'm like really upset about that. Oh, I have Daruk's protection. So I don't even need a shield. But yeah, once uh, once I played this game, I immediately fell in love with it. And like I wanted, I played it and then I played it again using the guidebook and 100% it. Well, I never fully 100% of the game because I couldn't find one missing location, but I 99.1% I of the game, I guess. <laughs> And, uh, I don't even know how many times I've played it since then. So here is the Valley of the Dead Trees. And there's a Hinox over there and a Korok seed. So let's... That's gotta be our chest. Oh gosh! Woo! This is a toxic sludge, so... Can't be falling in. hidden really well. Like, look, I can barely even tell that there's a chest there. Zant's helmet. The ruthless usurper king of the Twilight Realm wore a helmet much like this one. It's a rather rare find. Much like? I feel like it's exactly like this one. Like, this is it. Usurper king. I've been, I've been really wanting to play Skyward Sword. I think I might have mentioned this before, but I'm thinking sometime in the future, like later this year, maybe Skyward Sword is going to be on the agenda. Hey, we got to be quick about it or what? Oh, they moved. No. Okay. Oh, weird. They m move. <laughs> and then, after Skyward Sword, I, I've i never beaten uh, Wind Waker, so Wind Waker's on the agenda. I haven't played Twilight Princess in, like, what? Oh, man. Darn it. I fell in. I haven't played Twilight Princess in what feels like forever. What are these rocks doing here? Are these important for anything? So, yeah, if you guys are, uh... If you're really loving the Zelda content, let me know, because I would love to play those games on my channel sometime in the near future. Let's see. The other one that we're going to get that's down here is this. So we've got the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria at a bridge between two small waterfalls over Floria River and the Broken Stone Bird. So one of them is in this area. One, two, three... One, two, I don't know, it's probably, it's somewhere over here, I just forget, like, where exactly. And then, a bridge over two small waterfalls. Here we go. Two small waterfalls. Bam. And then the other one is Ibarra Forest. So they're all right here clustered together. We're gonna grab those guys. Let's head for the pink one first. And no thank you on the... Enox. Unless... Does he have a weapon I want? I just want to get up on his... I want to get a view of his chest. 
What is on his chest? He's got a nice spear. We could, let's just like rob him and then leave. We don't even have to fight him, right? Let's get on his hand. Oh. Yeah, we could at least use the spear. And let's see what how we're doing on bows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, put your hand back down. Look at those nails. They're like four inch thick fungus nails. Should I crouch? Come on, pick me up. Ooh. Okay, easy does it link. <gasps> oh no, my weapons are full. If I drop a weapon, is he gonna wake up? No. What is that? Oh, and a royal broadsword? Dude, yes. Let's ditch that one. Okay, now can we just like... Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's go get ourselves the dark armor. Which is, the the dark armor is basically uh, it, Ganondorf's armor from... Oh, that was so weird, those birds. I was like, is somebody whistling? I don't know that I've ever heard anybody, well, that's whatever. I don't know that I've ever heard anybody whistle in the game. But do you hear that bird? Kind of stopped. It just sounded like a human whistling. Or, I'm sorry, a Hylian. I don't know if Hylians are considered human. Because, like, elves are kind of human, except for their ears and, like, sometimes their magical abilities or their <laughs> other types of abilities, I guess, that humans don't exactly have. So what... What makes a Hylian not a human? I guess I really don't know. Okay. Ooh, you know what? We could stock up on party durians while we're here. Check it out. Is this a bunch of hardy durian trees? No. Okay, never mind. Take a potion. Or whatever. Eat some speedy fruits. I'm not here for you, little goat. Calm down. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Okay, let's get our magnesis out and check around for this thing. There's some chests, but not what we want. Maybe under the bridge? That's gotta be it. <laughs> Try to set it on something flat. There we go. The Phantom Ganon armor. Some believe this armor is inspired, it w inspirited by a dark entity resembling the great king of evil himself. It's a rather rare find. <laughs> nice. We're so close to finding out. Like, uh, it's not confirmed that the... You know, the skeletal figure is Ganondorf. Like, you know, we've not seen a name pop up on screen or anything like that. But, I mean, like, it is gotta be. It's gotta be. It's wearing Gerudo uh, jewelry. And I think there was a Gerudo symbol on its... Oh, no. On its, uh... Its skirt. Whatever you would call that thing.
Okay, so we're, we're gonna Revali's Gale, although we've only got one? Come on. But anyways, I was just thinking how super excited I am for another version of Ganondorf. Ooh, a cave. Like, if that is him, I wonder if he'll be skeletal the whole time, or if he'll regenerate. Is he gonna, like, suck the souls from people in, Hy in Hyrule and, like, I don't know, do some, like, m something, you know, like in The Mummy, when he, like, sucks the souls of those people and re regenerates himself? Okay, Wizro, please. And an Octorok. I'm just passing through, guys. Oh, wait, but I want that. We're going toward the blue pin. But it's gonna be... a little bit of a climb. And it's about to start raining, so we better hurry up. Give me the bananas. Okay, here's some waterfalls. Is this a big one? Yeah, let's go up this way. So let me, let's read the clue, I guess. That's usually a good idea. Side quest, dark armor. Okay, at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. Highest of three waterfalls. So this is Lake Floria. And then there's three in a row right here. At the highest of the three. I don't know which is the highest. But I... It's somewhere in this area. Let's go up this waterfall. Now I have the armor. For that maneuver. Let's just do a check. Oh, no, no, no. Do a check. Ooh, there's a big boulder. Oh, there's a, something. Why does the boulder have a purpose? Oh, it was, oh, it was hiding two chests. Some rupees. Oh! Not what I meant to do. And an opal. Okay. And now, where was that chest? Can't reach it. Okay, so this actually, if this is the right chest, this wasn't too hard to find. Ooh, the Phantom Ganon Skull. Some believe this eerie headgear is inspirited by a dark entity, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try them both on. Nice. Those horns. Goodness. Okay, now the last one, it said, is in the uh, Bar Forest. So let's head for the pink pin and get the last piece of this armor. Look at the way they cape. Although I don't like, let's do this. I don't like the way, oh, I don't like the way the weapons and stuff clip through it. But otherwise it's really cool. Okay. Clue says at the broken bird statue of a bar forest. Oh, these are bird statues. Here's the broken one. There it is. 
Nice. Phantom Ganon Greaves. Now we've got the whole thing. Check it out. What did that do? Bone attack up. Disguise. What does that mean? Look at my cape. <laughs> that is so cool. And so let's um let's take off the stuff so it's not clipping through. What's really cool is when you like ride your horse or your dirt bike, whatever, the cape like floats out behind, which looks really cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't I can't move the camera while whatever. There we go. I look so cool. Okay, well that does it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to the castle and that is because our next memory is right here. So we're gonna go loot the castle and uh, there's the shrine there and get the memory. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, and we're gonna get the shield too. That's gonna be so much fun. Okay, well, can't wait to see you there. Come back next time for more. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can now join on YouTube and become a member and get early access to videos and see members only community posts. Can't wait to see you there. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.